Hello and welcome to the first video of the Google G Suite in UiPath series. In this video we will configure our application using Google Cloud Platform in order to use the G Suite application activities in UiPath Studio. Now in order to configure your application in the Google Cloud Platform, there are basically two steps. You need to first enable the APIs of all the applications that you want to use in UiPath Studio and thereafter you need to create credentials so that Google can authenticate your application. There are basically three different types of credentials that can be created and each credential type has different use case. We'll have a look into each of these things in a few minutes. So let's just go and first log in into the Google Cloud Platform and enable the different APIs. Just search for Google Cloud Platform and then click on Console and this would bring you to the home screen of the Google Cloud Platform. As you can see here, none of the project has been selected and there would always be a default project which is the bot bot go and if you want to create a new project all you need to do is create a new project and we'll give it a name called UiPath G Suite and click on create. So this would create a new project inside your Google Cloud Platform. And the next step that you need to do is go under API and services and enable different application APIs. So I'll just go and select the API and services. And after coming here, we need to enable the APIs for different applications. You can go and click here to enable APIs. And this will bring you to the library page and this library contains all the applications which are there in the Google Cloud Platform. Since we are only interested in the G Suite applications, so let's just go there and then one by one activate each of these applications. Just click on Enable. And this would enable the API for this particular application which is Google Drive. And now since we also want to enable APIs for other applications, so let's just search for it. So let's go to Gmail API and do the same thing. And one by one, we're going to activate it for all the other APIs as well. So once all the APIs have been enabled, the next step is to create credentials. In order to create credentials, just go here and click on credentials. There are basically three types of credentials that can be created within this platform. One is based on the API keys, the another one is the OAuth client IDs, and the third one is the service accounts. Each of these credentials have different use cases. I would not recommend to use the API keys for now because it is only the Google Sheet activities that can be automated using the API key credentials. So then we are left with only two types of credentials. One is the OAuth client ID and the other one is service accounts. The service account credentials are being used whenever you want to create credentials for an application. And whenever you want to create a credential, for example, a user, then we use the OAuth client IDs. Since I consider robot to be a virtual user, so I would be using the OAuth client ID credential type. Now in order to create the credentials, just click on create credentials and then select the type of credential that you want to create. And as you come here, you would see that you need to configure a consent screen. So let me just first explain you what this configure consent screen means. And this is something that you might have already seen or used in your day to day life. Let's say there is a new application where you want to sign up. And you would see that there is an option that you can sign up using Google account. And the moment you click on this sign up using Google account, there is a consent screen that pops up and it asks you to enter your credentials in order to give access to this particular application. Now, since you're also creating an automation application, you would also have to configure a consent screen. So let's just create one. Once you're here, I will select external and then click on create. 
and then you need to give a name to your application. In our case, we'll call it UiPath G Suite. If you want, you can also upload a logo. So let's just click on Browse. So once that's done, let's just click on Save. And this would then configure your consent screen. So after configuring your consent screen, the next step is again to create the credential. So I'll just go back to our credentials page and again do the same thing. Just select the kind of credential and then we need to select the kind of application type. In our case, it's a desktop app. So we'll select that and we'll also give it a name. Let's again call it UiPath G Suite and just hit on create. Once you click on create, a client ID and a client secret has been created and you would be using these credentials in your G Suite application scope in order to run different G Suite activities. So you could directly copy this uh, from here and then paste it in your UiPath activities. I will just click on OK. So that's all you need to know in order to configure your application in the Google Cloud Platform. So just go ahead and do it also for yourself. And in the next video, we'll use the credentials that we have created right now in the UiPath G Suite Activities package. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you again in the next video.